Hello and welcome back to Generation Zero. It's been a while since I did a video on this, but that's mostly because I was just waiting for the update to come out. And it did. And it adds a lot. For instance, let's go back up here. We have a new crafting bench, the Consumable Crafting Station, which you can find blueprints to make different ammo types. Right now I don't have a lot. And then you can also recycle... Oh, actually, I should recycle some stuff while I'm sitting here. Uh, well, they added melee weapons. And you can recycle ammo. So if I want to get rid of... Let's just get rid of some buckshot. Okay, for 25, I get two explosive and a lead. And as you can see... Aluminum, titanium, explosive, lead, copper, electrolyte, tungsten. We have new resources. These you can get through fighting Phoenix and Apocalypse tier enemies. Or you can scrap anything that is three crown or higher. And as you can see, I get aluminum from this, so new resource. Which is really nice to have a new crafting system in play. Then, we got some cool new stuff. First off, rival profiles. I can now see exactly what rival this is without just being like, oh, what's, you know, Yacht Maskin 60C469. I don't have to somehow write down or memorize that. And... If you'll look around, the farmland has some new environmental pieces to it. The world has changed with the Phoenix Rising update and added, at least for the farmlands, a lot more areas where humanity kind of held out and the military tried to fight back. It's a little laggy because I have so many <laughs> rivals active. But then down into the south coast, you have all these phoenix outposts, and their power lines are running from place to place. But we are not doing that Scarven Bunker thing right now. We are actually going to fight these three rivals. I know you're thinking level 2, 1, and 1, that's not too terrible. against them and see how it pans out. I've... I, yeah, they also added prone, which is really useful for sneaking. Ah, of course. And yeah, as you can see, it allows me to get way up as I say, it lets me get way closer than before without getting spotted, and then I got spotted. Back to the safe house, because I'm not... I, I, I thought about it for a while, I was like, is it really kind of a cowardly move to always run to have buildings to shoot out of to fight these guys? And I realized, no. It is actually a completely tactically viable and responsible way of fighting. Because when you really break it down, these guys are built to take you out in the open. I mean, that alone. You have to be moving so fast and so consistently to avoid the incoming damage from that, that it's pretty much... you're gonna get hit. No matter how you spin it, you're taking some damage. So why wouldn't I put myself in a position where I can actually defend myself and take him out. Yeah, and the revolver's stupidly good. 
definitely something, if you can get a good, or even halfway decent revolver, you can do a frightening amount of damage. And it's nice, because I finally have an incentive to take all the ammo and weapons I find, instead of just abandoning everything. Oh, also, quick side note. There's more clothing schematics. You have to upgrade through everything, so you can't just be like, well, I want tier 3. You have to upgrade tier 1 to tier 2 to tier 3. Which is a little annoying, but understandable. I don't know, this doesn't look like the beastliest of damage, but... Considering what I'd be doing with... a 9 mil, this is pretty good damage. Okay, there's gotta be one other one. Where are you? Oh! There you are. And you brought friends, cool. They also added a unique... Hold up, you don't look normal. Because you aren't, you are Apocalypse. Yeah, I'm a little irked that it takes so many 50 BMGs. Like, come on, I'm using 50 caliber rounds through your face. Be a little reasonable here. Ah, I'm on fire, Ricky Bobby! Help me, Tom Cruise! Tom Cruise, use your witchcraft to get the fire off me! God, I haven't watched Talladega Nights in ages. <laughs> oh god, I need to just end these things quickly. Oh, I remember the whole line. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jewish God. Help me, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, use your witchcraft to fire off me. Yep. <laughs> Sir, can you please stop scaling the house? Man, these... These apocalypse hunters do not play around when you're inside a building. I managed to get a, uh... Five crown... MP5. Head stuffed in the ground like an ostrich. Oh, I know we're all... Where am I getting hit from? Because their accuracy is stupidly consistent. And it seems like no matter where I'm standing, I'm getting hit. It can't be just this one guy here. I'll take out his gun, I don't care. Smoke ground, kind of a waste, but whatever. Where? I just cannot spot him.
I can't be this blind. There. Don't think I won't mag dump a 50 cal into you. Okay, so there's two, it looks like. Get rid of that flamethrower right off the bat. Now I don't want your adhesive. Take all the garbage. Oh, cool. That was it. This place looks a little worse for wear. Might as well just scrap all this while I'm sitting here. I don't feel like carrying unnecessary crap with me. Uh, need all that. Don't need to compensate. Ah. Eh. Realistic, I can do with a compensator. And as you can see, they still haven't given us more storage space, so... If you were already pretty strapped for space, deal with it. I'm not happy, but... You know, what can I do? They blasted a lamp this far out of the house. God. Alright, so where are these... This trio? Okay, so they're still back that way. Ah. I don't like this because I'm gonna have to either... Bait this way? Or... That's a long run, but I'd have to bait back. I don't remember what this is. I could maybe push to it. But I feel like if I'm pushing that, I'm pushing my lock. Just rock the AK for now. Wow, I... Uh... Yeah, let's go back. I need to grab ammo. Hanging around this house far longer than I wanted to, but... Ah, I hate... Because the thing is, I will use all 1200 rounds easy. Without a single, like, moment of hesitation, I will end up burning all those rounds. Wish I could speed this up a little more. Because I don't feel like carrying 54 pounds of... 762, I'll, I'll willingly carry like 4,000 4, rounds, 4k. That doesn't bother me. Even though realistically carrying that much ammo, you would snap in half. I mean, you look at what guys carry deployed in like Afghanistan and stuff. Oh, we'll go 4,500. Jesus. <laughs> How much was that? 18 pounds. Eh. You know, it's... They also made it so you can double tap to re switch ammo types, but... I'm gonna need it. And I... AP, I think, is the heavier hitting between those and FMJ. So I might as well just use the heaviest hitters I have. But one thing that's neat is there's the unique enemy, the Reaper. And the Reaper is... Okay, so they're pushing this way. 
The Reaper is a tank? Oh my god. Oh wait, those are... Never mind, I don't care about those. Those are just protos. They can go do whatever. Yep. Barrett's Caps Farad 102. If you look on the map, the... These little structures, you can find them all over, because they're the bunkers, and they're great if you... If you're looking for some of the schematics for... Like the... Yeah, I'd say the schematics for clothing and stuff, get them there. And almost always they're gonna have a blueprint for one of the robots. So you can collect all those. I like getting them. Just because I can kinda... See where their components are. And I just think it's really neat in tech of you, seeing all the stuff. Alright. Those other runners should lose me eventually. Yep, they're already losing me. These guys... All around the house, so... I'm gonna have to probably sprint in... In the middle of them... To get inside. But that's real dangerous. I don't have any adrenaline to revive myself, so if I go down, it's going to be a long run. I could try to force level these guys, because that's what people say is like Apocalypse and Phoenix you should level to like 4 for your best chance to get a, um, what you call it, experimental weapon. And I probably should, but I don't care. I'm more about just doing stuff for fun and... Honestly, seeing a trio of rivals patrolling together is pretty cool. And I was like, you know, this this is worth fighting. <sighs> so... Main house, that's where I have to push to. You know, we're just gonna... Get a firework in hand. for when this pops off, because I can guarantee it will. Okay, so they're not looking. If I can get inside, then I'll just start hosing them. I'm a sneaky mate. There is no door for this. You better have a door somewhere. Oh my god, it's a non-enterable building. No. You don't fight me. Uh, place to hide, place to hide. Where can I hide? Yeah, sure. No, not the garage. Uh, screw it, we're hiding in the garage. Oh, okay. Uh... Garage. I can't open the front garage door. I will get flattened if I have the audacity to try that. Okay, so we got a med kit. Where are you? Oh, hey. That's good. I need to kill ticks, actually. So the more they spawn because that's a new challenge. It's for like a... or no, that's an old one. I'm thinking of the ones with like... You're using 44s on guys. Because there's one where you have to get last hits on like an apocalypse tank using a 44 Magnum. And I was like, look, I, I love the Swagnum more than... Ow. Oh, yeah, I'm just insta-dead. Because he just yeeted on top of this building. Alright, we're running back. At least they're dinged up. That's a good sign. And I hope they don't try to... yeet themselves on top of me while I'm in the building again. I need something with a better roof. 
What has a better roof? Nothing. Everything's rooftop sucks. Okay. Oh, those exploded. Well, that might have been what killed me. Was they caused a friggin' thermonuclear explosion by blowing up every part of this building. Hey, come around the corner. I think you're flamethrower, man, so I wanna kinda chill. Alright, one down. What's in here? Paramedic response pack. Cool find. Whoa, you're just standing right there looking at me. I gotta watch, because he's gonna yeet on top of this building if I'm not careful. Yo, can you not? God, how many enemies are here? Okay, yep, yeah, definitely use start using the med kits. Come on, AP rounds. Put in the work. Okay, they're all dead. Good sign. Ow. That's drained. Let's try something tricky. I hope that did something. Also, stop shooting. Game, let me up, quickly. I don't care if it's a waste of another med kit, I'm burning one just in case. One melee hit and the whole place just goes up in flames. You should go look at that quick. Huh. Even detonating. Oh, he's shooting rockets at me. Never mind. Just disconnect already. Okay, two dead.
Oh my god, of course there's one with a poison gas launcher. Oh my god, how many canisters are you going to launch? I literally have to fall back just so I can actually heal out of the damage I'm taking. Oh my god. New strategy. Hiding here for a moment. If we can draw some of them out. Plans for slug ammo, cool. No, we're going to try to stop you from doing that. Also, look over there. And as you can see, I've already used a thousand rounds. And now I have to run again. Back to the first safe house. If this... One rival could just die already. Perfect. Now we can just clean up everything else. Look at that. Now they're just dropping like it's nothing. Okay. Stop that. Nice to see all my bed kits just vanishing. your long range. That's why I can't see you. Forest. 
there was enough XP gained in this region that I caused a rival to level. Ah. Uh. Yeah, 1100 rounds, roughly, burned trying to fight all of this. And they didn't really drop anything of value. But I only died once. That is impressive. I burned a ton of resources. But I only died once. I think that's as good a place as any to call it. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.